हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेसन वी विल स्टडी अबाउट किंगडम प्रोटेस्टा व्हिच इज कंप्राइजेस ऑफ ऑल द यूनिसेल्युलर यूकैरियोट्स सो हियर वी स्टार्ट विद किंगडम प्रोटेस्टा ऑल द माइक्रोस्कोपिक यूनिसेल्युलर प्रोकैरियोट्स प्लेस्ड इन किंगडम प्रोटेस्टा येट इट्स बाउंड्रीज आर नॉट वेल डिफाइंड phylogenetically it acts as a connecting link between the monera and eukaryotic kingdoms there are some general features of kingdom protista protists are considered as ancestors of all multicellular eukaryotic organism they are mostly aquatic many protists found in water bodies in the form of plankton some protists live in the body of animals as parasites protists are eukaryotic that's why they possess well defined nucleus and membrane bound cell organelles reproduce by sexual as well as asexual means their mode of nutrition is they may be photosynthetic absorptive or parasitic Here is a classification of kingdom protista these are broadly classified into following groups some protist are photosynthetic they are called protistian algae they include dinoflagellates chrysophytes and euglenoids some protist are consumer they are saprophytic in nature they depends on dead organic matter for their food these are decomposer protist there are some protozoan protist it includes primitive animals here we start with dinoflagellates they are single celled photosynthetic autotrophic phytoplankton they are motile and biflagellated one lies longitudinally and other transversely they are mostly marine some members are phosphorescent that means they produce bioluminescence bioluminescence is the phenomena of production and emission of light by living organism their examples are glenodenium peridinium gynodenium and ceracium next is chrysophytes they are also called as brown algae they are aquatic found in fresh and marine water they are mostly microscopic having no flagella that's why float passively in water currents they are mostly photosynthetic they include diatoms and desmids diatoms have cell wall containing silica it is in the form of two overlapping cells which fit together like two parts of soap box or plates of petri dish diatoms are very hard as a result diatomaceous earth formation has occurred due to remains of cell wall of diatoms in the form of fossils their examples are diatoms and desmids next is euglenoids Euglenoids are euglena-like unicellular flagellated protists which possess characteristics of both the plant and the animal that's why they were previously placed under class Phytomastigophora or Protozoa of animal kingdom in the presence of sunlight they are phototropic and in absence of sunlight they behave like animals as heterotrophs their example is euglena next is consumer protist or slime molds slime molds possess characteristic of protozoans as well as fungi they do not have chlorophyll that's why they are saprophytic in nature usually live upon decaying vegetation the vegetative phase of thallus is free living naked and multinucleated mass of protoplasm called plasmodium that means somatic body is without cell wall their examples are physarum and trichia next is protozoan protist protozoa means primitive animal previously they are placed in phylum protozoa of animal kingdom but now they are grouped under protista kingdom all protozoans are heterotrophic as animals here is a classification of protista 
on the basis of locomotory apparatus they are divided into four groups first is zoo flagellates or also called as flagellated protozoans those protozoans which have one or more flagella as their locomotory apparatus are called flagellated protozoans example trypanosoma leishmania trichomonas next is ciliata those protozoans which have cilia as their locomotory apparatus are called ciliated protozoans example paramecium and verticella third is sarcodena also called as amoeboid protozoans example amoeba ant amoeba etc fourth class of protozoans is sporozoa they have simple body organization having no locomotory apparatus all sporozoans are endoparasites their examples are plasmodium plasmodium is a malarial parasite and monocystis monocystis is endoparasite of earthworm thank you